NASA is launching a new asteroid mission. It's going to be searching the skies for killer asteroids. This is a new attempt after the failed desktop asteroid Earth protection system that they had in April. They have this thing every two years. And uh, it was supposedly an asteroid strike coming at us at the time of the uh, Apophis asteroid, April 13th, in about 10 years. Basically the same size, the same timing as the Apophis coming towards Earth. But they failed that desktop exercise. It was supposed to be coming over the east coast of the United States. Their plan was to nuke it. They, again, test a, a desktop exercise. They did nuke it, but a chunk split off it and struck New York City, causing uh, a catastrophe of that whole area. So that failed. And they've been failing that every time they've been having these exercises. They have them every two years. The next one will be uh, in about a year and a half in uh, Switzerland, I think, in Europe. And it was run by NASA, and um, they failed that as well. And now they have this coming at them. The $35.6 million total has been provided for this new project. It's called the Near Earth Object Surveillance Mission. They plan to launch a new space satellite, complete with infrared camera this time, in order to see what's in there, even the dark specks of celestial objects. And they would hunt for asteroids in the area of the region of Earth. On December 20th, President Trump signed the minibus spending law, and it'll provide an additional $22.6 billion for NASA. Of this, $2.7 billion will go to NASA's planetary science funding line that will be used to fund this new project. Congress ordered NASA to identify all near-Earth objects, NEOs, which are at least 140 meters, it's about 400 feet across in diameter, judging to be the point they would have a regional or global impact if they collided with our Earth. The Near Earth Object Surveillance Mission, the NEO mission, will be run from the University of Arizona, and the leader will be Amy Mainzer. In her statement released by the University of Arizona, Mainzer explained the new project's purpose. She said this mission would answer a fundamental question. Are there asteroids or comets out there that can cause harm to the Earth over the next hundred years? Earlier this year, a top scientist warned this inevitable large asteroid will smash into Earth. Potentially devastating consequences will follow unless leaders worldwide take action. Greg Leonard, who is the senior researcher for NASA financed Catalina Sky Survey SCC, put the probability at 100% unless changes are made. That is, unless humanity has an Earth protection system in order to nudge these asteroids or celestial bodies out of their trajectories and somehow save the Earth from an impact. He was speaking to science writer Brian Walsh Walsh is writing his new book, The End Times, A Brief Guide to the End of the World. And Leonard is also a professor at New Zealand's University of Otago. That's where he forms part of the schools of surveying. But he also admitted that the chances of being killed by an asteroid are currently lower than dying after an asteroid strike. And according to NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, every year an asteroid the size of a car enters our Earth's atmosphere but these sizes usually burn up in our atmosphere without causing damage. But the impact of a much larger rock could be catastrophic for humanity if it hits our Earth, and fundamentally it will change the planet's environment. Referring to asteroids, Leonard said, I also know that if we do nothing, sooner or later there's a 100% chance that one will get us, so I feel privileged to be doing something. Now, a giant asteroid strike like the rock that uh, flew a few kilometers across is believed to have been responsible for the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event. That's the asteroid that struck the Yucatan Peninsula 66 million years ago and put an end to the dinosaurs. And uh, it not only put an end to the dinosaurs, but it also wiped out 
three quarters of all animal species on Earth from that asteroid strike. Leonard's comments came after NASA admitted it only spotted a potentially dangerous asteroid heading towards Earth just hours before it entered Earth's atmosphere. This was asteroid 219MO and it burned up in the atmosphere over the Caribbean on June 29th. And it only found it a few hours before it entered our atmosphere. So you can imagine if it was any bit bigger or if it hit land as opposed to uh, uh, coming in over, uh, splashing into the Caribbean, they still would not have been able to do anything about it. It was identified by NASA around 300,000 miles from Earth. This is farther away from our planet than the moon was, is. And in a statement, NASA claims that this was roughly the equivalent of spotting something the size of a gnat from a, a distance of 310 miles. So thank goodness they do have this going up, this telescope with the infrared capability of seeing everything that's in space around the vicinity of Earth. And as we know, we'd have, we've had tremendous amount of strikes in the past from the scars that we already have on Earth. Also strikes uh, on the moon and also impacts on Mars. So it's a, a, a real probability. And we do have to have a planetary defense for something like this. This is on Express UK by James Pickerton. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.